Hi, welcome to Coach House again. Uh, my name's Steve Gerzeni, and we've got some really exciting news today. We've got our 2020 Mercedes-Benz 241XL RRT that we're going to display for you. Pretty much the Mercedes-Benz we've talked about in the past is going to have the same exterior storage that we've shown. This does have our premier body paint on it. And what I really want to do is get inside and show you what we've been doing. Check this out. Oh my God. Oh my God, do you guys know who this is? This is Sam. This is Sam y'all been waiting to see forever. This guy's awesome, the best video guy in the world. How you doing, Sam? I'm doing great. Uh, you know how many people doing? have asked me to show you on film? Um, millions? Millions, <laughs> millions of people. So here it is, your debut. So you got anything to say? Uh, bye Coach House. <laughs> bye Coach House, they're the uh, best. Well, he's an awesome guy, and we're going to get started on a video, but this is Sam, the guy that does all our videos for us. He's an awesome guy, and we appreciate all he does for us. Thank you, Steve. All right. Well, we're going to get started on this 241 XL RRT. Sam, I wanted to spend a little bit of time on the outside of the vehicle. I know we've shown our Mercedes Benz a lot, but this is a 2019. There's been some slight changes, so we wanted to go through and show you some of the changes that have occurred this year. Uh, starting here, we still have our outside lighted storage compartment, but we've put our auxiliary batteries on an outside slide tray. So they're much easier to maintain, easier to get to, and um, just, I think, more user friendly. Still have our remote LP system fill here. All of our outlets are on the outside for 110. Uh, here's another lighted storage compartment right here. Um, it's a big outside storage compartment. And again, we do everything in fiberglass. We don't do anything in aluminum or plastic or anything like that. It's fiberglass. Uh, take a look here, too. This is an option which people love. It's the Alcoa rims. And uh, these are really nice aluminum rims. Um, it's an option that we're offering now. We don't use any Chinese or off-brand. These are real Alcoa rims. Now what I want to do is keep walking around the coach and show you some more of the exterior. Sam, moving around the vehicle, I wanted to point out that we do use the Truma Insta-Hot propane-driven hot water heater. It's an endless supply of hot water, which is really a nice feature in our coaches. And this is only available on Mercedes and our Ford Transit. Continuing around the back, we have a backup camera that is part of the navigation system on the vehicle. A petcock valve to fill your fresh water tank when your city water is connected. One discharge for black and gray water, so everything is easily discharged. And again, we have cable TV connection, we have a little courtesy light. This is your little maintenance compartment right here without having all the cutouts on the exterior of the coach. So nice feature there. Have an outside shower right here that's hot and cold right by your utility compartment so if you have a pet or you want to rinse out your sewer hose or whatever you want to do you got a little hot and cold shower right here. Smart plug. This is a really nice feature we've added. This plug is a smart plug so you never have to worry about anything arcing. Once it's plugged in it snaps in place and you're done. Some of the old style plugs had a tendency to arc and that's true in our industry. So this is a marine side of the equation, again, being in Southwest Florida, we were able to get these through the marine industry, and they're much more positive connections. Um, again, we have our Alcoa rims, we have our slide rooms, uh, the slide room, again, on our coaches, on everything, I emphasize, emphasize, are all driven hydraulically, HWH hydraulic slide rooms. They don't fail like the Lipperts or the electric slide rooms do. It's a very, very well-designed, well-engineered, been in the industry a long time, way to move a slide. We feel it's the best. And so for that, we'd like to point it out. We also have the covers over all of, all of the uh, slide rooms. So you have a nice cover covering the slide room. Coming to the driver's side of the vehicle, what you notice is that you have a nice big side entry door. We have developed a beautiful step to stand on. It's not a round chrome step. It's a nice fiberglass step. And we also have, this is where your fuel is located. So what's nice about Mercedes and their fuel system is once you close your fuel door and you close your driver's door, it locks so people can't pilfer with your fuel. Now I want to show you the front of the vehicle, Sam, because this front is where they've done a lot of their redesign as well. They added different headlights. We've got um, fog lights. There's a, still a step here if you want to get up on the step and wash your window. Makes a really nice feature. But the sleek aerodynamic design of Coach House is really nice for long-term travel. What we find is people that are putting the bubble tops 
are the raised tops on the vehicles with this lighter gross vehicle weight rated chassis. It has a tendency to go down the road and rock side to side, front to back, where by being aerodynamic, we're cutting that wind drag down and making the vehicles a very smooth ride on the road. That pretty much covers the outside, Sam. So let's go inside because there's a lot of cool features that we're doing this year inside. Sam, I'm now sitting in the driver's seat of the 2019 Mercedes. This is a 2020 model from Coach House. And some of the things that are really cool about Mercedes-Benz is all these wonderful changes on the dashboard. Um, it comes now with a keyless start. So you put your foot on the brake, you hit your start engine button, and look at that, everything lights up. It's awesome, awesome. They've even got a little place down here where you hide your key. If you need it to, it will communicate with your vehicle. So it keeps it up to date. Uh, Mercedes has got a wonderful 10 and a quarter inch screen. Sam, look at all the features on this infotainment center. It is amazing. It'll check your vehicle settings. It's got apps you can download, information, your media source, your radio. It's got navigation system. It's got Sirius XM radio. It's got Apple CarPlay. It's got everything that we have always wanted to see in a Mercedes Benz. And it is in a very user-friendly mode. Sam, one of the coolest things about Mercedes Benz is the interaction between the driver or passenger and this computer system. Watch this. My Mercedes. How may I help you? Sam and I'd like to go to Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Please give us directions. Please select an entry. There we go, Sam. We're not going to McDonald's. We're going to Ruth Chris. Other cool features with this chassis, Sam, is all of the storage compartments that are here. You have multiple cup holders. For this year, what they did, which was nice, is they actually added a thermostatically controlled air conditioning and heat system, which is nice. If you look up front here, this also has a charging system. So you can take your smartphone, set it in here. You have USB ports and so forth that you can plug your telephone and so forth in. You got a 12 volt outlet, another couple cup holders up here. You've got storage up above, both sides, nice visors, all your light panels. This even has what's called an SOS emergency button. So if you're stranded somewhere, you can push the button and help will come to you. It has a multi-function steering wheel, all leather wrapped. It's awesome. This thing drives like an S-Class Mercedes-Benz. It's beautiful. Sam, for 2019, what Mercedes did is they came out with their own leather package. And why they did that is they've included an airbag system in the seats themselves. It's called a thorax airbag. And we've been instructed by Mercedes-Benz not to recover these seats. Um, it's a safety fact. I know some companies are doing it. They're assuming that liability. Coach House does not want to assume it. But let me tell you a little bit about the seats. These seats have, are all powered. They have power lumbar support. They've got power function forward, backwards. Uh, they've got heat in the seats. And look at this up here, which is kind of cool. This, if you have a longer torso, you can extend so that it supports underneath your knees correctly. Also, which is nice on these, is swivel. Not only are they power seats, but they're swivel seats. The driver's seat will do the exact same thing. So they're very, very comfortable. They're factory, and we don't want to do anything to alter them, mainly from a safety standpoint. This chassis has all the safety features on it that you're going to find in most of your automobiles now. It has lane changes. It has um, adaptive cruise control, active cruise control. So that if you're driving and you come up behind somebody, it'll slow you down. It has an active braking system. So if somebody pulls out in front of you and you can't get to the brakes fast enough, this vehicle will put the brakes on for you. All of the safety features that we've come to expect in automobiles are slowly entering the RV market. And I'll say this about about the chassis. I've covered a small tiny fraction of it. There is so much that this chassis offers. I encourage you to go on even Mercedes-Benz website and look at the Sprinter videos they have there because they talk so much more in greater detail about the safety features on this coach. Never ever have we seen a vehicle with this many safety features on it. It's an awesome chassis, awesome power, turbo driven. It's really a remarkable chassis.
what we want to do is show the interior. There's a lot of cool things with this chassis this year that we think is pretty awesome. One of the nice features that I think we offer is this pull-down TV. The strap goes out of the way, but it's also on a swivel. So you can see it anywhere. It's out of the way. It's not taking up any room whatsoever. You still have plenty of head clearance to get in and out of the driver's compartment. So it really makes it a functional place for a TV without it being in the way. So that's kind of a neat feature. Um, we are using our multiplex wire system, which we've talked about in the past. This little device here controls everything from auto gen starts to lights to HVAC, even your fans, your fantastic fans are all controlled here. You can even get an app on your telephone so that you can control everything on your phone as well. So really a nice multiplex wiring system. We use brand name Firefly. Did a lot of research on this system before we decided to use it and are very pleased so far. We've been using it now for about two years and we're really happy with what they're doing. And they keep coming out with more advancements, which makes us even more appealing to customers. Still using our beautiful cabinetry, uh, all touch locks, everything locks, all recessed European hinges so that uh, you can adjust this door eight ways to Sunday. Real nice. Um, door holders, these metal door glides are adjustable. And what I like to point out to people is our cabinetry is all finished off. That is not the industry. This is different. You go into any of our competitors and they build L's. So they'll take a cabinet that looks like this, but it's an L. Here's their flat sidewall, very unappealing on the exterior, and here comes their cabinet. So when you raise your doors, what you get to see is the paneling that they have behind it. Not with Coach House. All of our cabinetry is finished off. It's the correct way to do it. It's not the cheap or the inexpensive way to do it. It's part of the reason why our price points are what they are. All of the substrate, all of the main cabinet that we use in here is a carb 2 rated plywood. It's called light ply. Carb 2 rated. Very, very low if no emissions are being emitted out of this, such as formaldehyde. When you walk into a coach house on a hot day, your eyes aren't going to water, your throat's not going to clog up. It's because of the materials that we use and the concern we take in building our motor homes. So people can say what they want about our cabinetry. Our cabinetry is built the way it should be. You start putting curved doors on cabinets, you lose interior space. You put flat panel cabinet doors on them, recess, we use raised panel, we use flat panel doors. They're beautiful. The cabinets are beautiful. And we build them in three different colors. And I'm going to show you a fourth color that we're talking about introducing a little bit later. This is done up in our recliner. And if you can see, Sam, even on the floor, we've used what we call a woven floor in this model. And the floor is like steel. This stuff is fantastic. We have these beautiful tables that swivel out of the way to get out of the way on both, both sides. Um, there's some storage here. A little bit of storage for maybe magazines or remote controls. Seems to be a nice place for that. Sam, the furniture that we use comes out of the home industry. These are actually 110 volt. We have a 1200 watt pure sign inverter on board. And these are power recliners. And they're awesome. People love our power recliners because they're not related really to the RV industry. It's more home. And so they are very, very nice. People ask us where we buy them. We kind of keep some of that stuff secretly to ourselves. But um, they're very, very nice. And again, with these nice swivel tables on here, very comfortable. Sit back, watch TV. You got your galley. You can cook. This is what we call our living quarters, where you're going to primarily live in this model. Again, this is a recliner rear twin. So um, we have recliners up front. And we have our rear twins in the back. Sam, why don't we back up a little bit, because I want to kind of get a perception from front to back. So here we are in the front again, and I'm going to walk to the back. This vehicle has what we call a center bathroom, and it's really good, cool design. If I open this one door up, you have privacy for your shower, which is on the opposite side. So you can see inside there how nice the bathroom is, the toilet is, everything's clean, easy to take care of, fiberglass. Um, it's just a, a wonderful system that we feel. Now I'm going to close this door, and here's our shower. All fiberglass shower. So what we can basically do is compartmentalize from front to back on this particular unit so that if somebody wants to take a shower and get dressed in the back of the vehicle, you can still have company or what have you on the, 
on the, on the front side of the coach. So again, this door swings open and closes off, which is really cool. So you have a two compartment coach when we're done. So as we come to the back, you can see we have shirt closets, which are nice. Again, all finished off, a uh, nice clothes rod in there. And again, all these touch latches, which makes it nice. Close the door, that door's locked now. This coach has a rear TV. We have storage all the way around the vehicle, which is nice. Uh, this is done in our Lakeside Cherry interior, we call it. And on this side, we have a shirt cabinet as well. Again, all finished off. We really like to point that out. The cabinets are made the way they should be made and not made um, kind of in a deceiving way, we feel. There's also storage underneath. We have some roller storage, some big storage under here. Look at this. Look the size of that. You can almost fit your your dog in there, your pet in there if you want. It's beautiful. And again, locking hinges as well. Sam, let's switch sides because I want to point out the bedding and so forth as well. Sam, on this rear twin is exactly what it is. We have two rear twin bed back here and we also have a nightstand. It has a nice little pull out drawer in it as well. But what we've done with all of our vehicles this year is we have made these nightstands removable. So if you buy a vehicle like this, we can basically, if you want, convert it into a king bed. So you have the option of two twin beds with a king conversion. That's not a permanent conversion. It's when you want to use it as a conversion. So it really is kind of cool. We've had a lot of requests for people that would like to take the two twin beds, make it into a king, and sometimes have it into a twin. So it gives us the ability to do that. Again, a lot of nice storage. Drawers underneath everywhere. Anywhere we can put storage in our vehicles, we certainly do it. It's something that we're really proud of, is trying to maximize all the storage space. Have your little power converter down here, 110 volt, 12 volt power converter. Again, your Xantrex pure sine wave, 1200 watt inverter, which is very, very nice. And then we'll just keep moving forward. Some other things we've done with our multiplex wiring system, I've got one here and they're located throughout, but you can control your vehicle lighting and so forth on remote panels as well. We've got them, depending on the, on the model, anywhere between three and four typically remote panels on the coach. So let's move forward and we'll talk a little bit more about the galley and so forth and how this operates. Truma hot water heater has a, has a thermostat control you can use. Coach House loves this refrigerator. We've been using it for years. This is a six cubic foot Dometic three-way refrigerator. It is the largest three-way refrigerator you can get. It's an absorption-based refrigerator. And what's nice is this, this refrigerator runs on 110 volt, 12 volt, or LP gas. Now new for 2020, we have another option that we've put in a couple coaches throughout our, our lifespan here. And we get into the Norcold two-way, which is a compressor-driven refrigerator. So we do have the ability to go both ways now, which is really nice. Two burner stove, Dometic stove, um, all Corian countertops, nice big stainless steel sink. Uh, the faucet has a pull out sprayer on it, which is nice. Um, a fan above it for the stove uh, is a charcoal filtered fan. Then we use a uh, convection oven microwave up top. And you know, everything in our coach, as you look at the fit and finish, everywhere is beautiful. 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump built into it. We have discharges. They're all um, ducted air conditioning system throughout the coach. We have a 30,000 BTU furnace that runs along the floor. And the way this system works is the air conditioners are good to about 40 degrees for a heat pump. If it gets below 40 degrees, then the furnace will kick on. So you have two heat sources basically in the vehicle. You have electric heat and you have LPG heat, which is really, really nice. And one of the nice things about our company is if you do purchase something from us, we're a factory direct company. You come down to Venice, Florida, take delivery, spend a few days down here, and you will know everything about these vehicles, probably better than I do, because it is a wonderful experience to buy something from our factory. I've said this in the past, I'll say it again. We are family run. We are the same family. We are not for sale. Uh, my brother and I have kids coming through the business that will now be the third generation, basically. My dad started it. Be the third generation of our family involved with this company. And we love what we do. We love what we build. Uh, we feel we build the best motor homes in the industry, period. 
We don't sacrifice anywhere when it comes to quality. It's a home on wheels. They're not perfect. But in our opinion, it's the best that you can put your money into. So thank you for your time. We appreciate it. And if you have any questions, give us a call. Thank you very much.